Alright folks, I am the Conflict Nerd and welcome back to SimCity 4. Today, we're just gonna go all out. We're gonna go all out. I've made two more cities, we've got Crapland and Jersey Shore. The interesting thing is, if you switch those names around, you get exactly the same thing. We've got those two, we've got our, our city of cookie-like products, and today we're gonna be starting a new city. Right here. A massive city. This place is huge. So we've got a lot of space to play around with, which is good, because, well, I've learnt stuff. I, I know stuff. Now we need a name for this. This is going to be like the capital city. So, so what will we call it? We'll call it the, hmm, the Conflict Capital. There we go. The Conflict Capital. That's that's the name of the city, the conflict capital. So we're gonna start things out small for once. I don't usually do that. And the way we're gonna do things is sort of like a modern city, basically. So we're gonna have this, which is our main road, kind of the central road of the entire city right there. And the way this is gonna work is quite simple. At the sides of this road, we're going to begin with low density commercial zoning, which should be easy enough to manage. Now we're going to take it along like this. That's not exactly what I want. That's what I want. So we're going to take it along with that, and I know it's odd to be starting with commercial zoning. I wouldn't usually do this, but I have an idea of what I would like to see from this particular city. So we're going to start with commercial zoning just for now. That's going to be our main street. Now behind these commercial zones, we're going to have roads going, well, off either side behind them at these points. We're going to have the road go down like that. In fact, no, we're not. We're going to have the roads do this. So we've got three there and then four. And we can take it down here and do this because eventually these lower density commercial zones will be changed into medium or high density. I would still like to have some relatively small shops though. So we're going to put more commercial zoning behind these ones. And this is going to be effectively the city center pretty straightforward. We've got our main street and we've got two side streets effectively. Now what this will allow is us to put some low density commercial right here, which will eventually be changed into higher density commercial, which will result in apartment buildings. So it will actually look like a city center as opposed to some weird thing where there's for some reason or other small houses in the city center. So that is effectively that. That looks fine to me, if I'm perfectly honest. I like it. Now what we need to do is have this main straight go out to, say, here, and then branch off in several directions. This one, let's say, goes off to the industrial zone. So we'll take this right up and have it connect to the next region. This one can go down, say, here and we can have some housing estate around there somewhere. So that's what that does. At this end, I think it's going to loop round somewhere, but we'll leave it for now. Now, like I said, we need industrial zoning. So I think this area all up here can be our industrial zone. So we'll go with that. We'll put some medium density industry right there, I think. That seems that seems good to me. We'll go with some medium density industry just up there. We don't need a huge amount of industry. This is something that I kind of realize I do a lot. I add way too much industry. So that is all we're going to have for now and for the foreseeable future because I don't... I know that industry is the main form of work. I just don't like it, if I'm honest. I don't like industry. It's dirty, smelly, and just unpleasant to be around. So for now, this is what we're going to have. Now hopefully I can connect these. There we go. 
And that avenue can just continue down here a little bit. Go along here. No, it can't. I need to take the end off it. Okay, goes down there. And now what we do is simply connect to the industrial zone to the avenue at all of these junctions. The only thing is this is going to be, this will be absolute hell for drivers. But I, I don't particularly care because it is just an industrial zone. It's not all that hugely important to me. So obviously this zone has absolutely no power. So what we'll do is just take some power lines straight from the power plant down there. It's that simple. We'll take them straight down to there. And that will power it. There we go. We have people moving in. We have some shops going up already. Now it'll be interesting to see. Apparently there's no demand for anything other than residential and a little bit commercial. So we'll see just how this goes for now. So far so good though. I mean, nothing's blown up. Nothing has fallen apart. So, so far so good. I'm, uh, I'm liking this. I like the fact that it is actually going quite slowly. The only thing is, I'm losing a lot of money. So, once people start moving in a little bit more, hopefully, I will start making money. Because at the moment, I'm really, really not. So, for some reason or other, people, they aren't moving in. They want some more expensive housing locations. Hmm. Well, I guess I could accommodate to that by adding that housing estate that I was talking about. So we'll do just that. Now I want to plan this out because housing can be absolute hell. So I'm actually going to base this off of the area that I actually live. Or at least I'm going to try. So that goes down there. And that goes down to about there. This isn't necessarily completely accurate, but this will be somewhat similar to the area that I live in. The mayor doesn't live in the area that I live in, but we'll say that he does for now. So we need a road going there. These should be streets, but we'll just have roads for now. And uh, that's one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And it goes along to there, if I'm not mistaken. That needs to go one further, as does that. And that's fine. Okay. Right. That'll work, I guess. Let's give this a shot and see if I can make this look like home. Hmm. Okay. I need to put that there. And then some low density commercial just here. Because there are actually shops there, so that's kind of what's going on there. Now we need a little bit of low density residential here. Right along this road. Right the whole way down. We need some here. Hmm. That should be fine. Not exactly what I was after, but that's more like it than that. And then that'll do. Okay. Hell, oh, we can even do this. I forgot about the ends of the streets. Okay. Have those guys facing that way, that way. Okay. Once again, not necessarily accurate to the place that I live in, but close enough. And I need to dezone those, because that's not right. At all. What the hell happened there? Like that, take it along, and that, and that. Okay. Bit of an ugly area, now that I look at it. Well, I guess my housing area is not the most pretty looking place, but it does the job. Hmm. I can't be bothered bringing power lines down here, so what I will do is just put a wind turbine. We don't have one of these 
but we shall pretend that I do. Okay. So hopefully, people can move in down there as well. That's nice. That'll be that'll be our very kind of posh area, shall we say. Now the thing is, I'm still not making money. Which is pretty bad. No one seems to be moving in down here either. So, what do we need? There's a big demand for agriculture. So, I guess we could put some farmland down here. We can remove it at a later point. But I think for now we'll put some farmland uh, down this way. And hope that people will use it and be happy with it. Because I'm not very happy with it. I don't want it, but... I guess these guys all do, and that's the way it's going to have to go. And I guess I'm going to have to bring power lines across now, because I can't imagine that one wind turbine will do the job for all of that farmland. Right, so what we can do as well is link up this avenue here to the side of the map and onto Sim Nation. And then we could have these streets link up with the avenue and that is how you get to your farmland what we could also do is extend the farmland down to the edge of the avenue there we go perfect that should keep people happy are people moving in yes they are they don't have jobs but they are where would my house be that would be my house right there effectively in fact you know what we'll do we will if I'm not mistaken, where is it? I know you can do this. Right there. That's what I wanted. We will have me. Which one here looks the most like me? Hmm. None of them really. So we'll go with Bob Newby. And we'll have me moving in. I don't know what I am. I think I'm a Scorpio. So we'll move him in to that house. Oh, apparently I can't. Can I not move in? That's that's kind of annoying. I sort of want to move into that house because that's effectively where I would live. Is it because there's people already living in them? Okay, we'll move them in there. There's me, conflict nerd, right there. I'm a farmer, apparently. Oh yes, that's a good point actually. There's no fire protection anywhere yet. Are these houses all derelict? Abandoned due to the commute time. That's a very good point. I could probably chop that commute, commute time in half for them. Let's give that a go then. Let's bring this right down there. Connect it to Sim Nation, why not? Can I bring this straight across? I can. Right, that should hopefully help with the commute time. Am I making money? Nearly. We're getting there. Things aren't too bad. Something I really should do is put in a water supply, but I don't quite want to do that just yet. Hmm. Right, once that road's built, people should be happy. I should probably also put in... Buses. So let's do that whilst I can. So we'll have a bus that drops people off there and there. And we'll have one that will pick them up. There is a bus stop just about there. Again, I'm basing this area off of where I actually live. So there's a bus stop about there that will take them into town. There isn't really, there doesn't tend to be bus stops out in farming areas, but we'll put one just here anyway. There's actually a lot of traffic there, so hopefully that'll keep people happy. That might help with the commute time issue. Now we should probably put in more housing areas. What I will do is put some medium density stuff along this road. Just because I can, really. Um, I don't quite know what way I want to do this. I guess like that would be fine. Have some little streets. Might be fine. Might be okay. Hmm. 
Yeah, we'll have the suburbs here, basically. It's kind of what I'm going for. This will be our suburbs. And if I bring this right along and zoom out, that should look pretty much the same. Yeah, we'll take this down to there. Like that looks okay. Yep, I like that. We'll go with that. Lots of people can move in there and hopefully be happy. I doubt that they'll be happy because the roads, once again, are going to be hell. But they'll just have to deal with it because I'm not changing every single road there. Because the road service guy will start complaining that I'm getting rid of all of the streets. And people like streets. Apparently. That's what I'm told, anyway. Hmm. Okay, so what do people want? They want more agriculture. I don't want to give them agricultural zoning right now, though. I just really, really don't. Hmm. So they want more residential. There's a lot of residential zoning there. Why aren't they moving in? That just makes no sense. Industrial zone's fine. Could probably rezone some of that to be much higher density. We'll do these six areas here see what happens, if anything. Come on, people. Move in. Wait a minute, is this... That entire neighbourhood has effectively been abandoned through due to the commute time. Really? They really just abandoned it because of the commute time? Let me have a look at this. Where were they travelling to? No, where were they travelling to, then? So they're traveling right up that way to the farms. That is a really long commute. That would take quite some time. Anyone down here that's still living there? No. What is the furthest person? The mayor. Uh, what about this guy? Once again, going straight up to the farms. That is a really long commute, isn't it? I mean, I can't really do anything about that. You know, that's kind of the thing. I could maybe put in more farmland, but I don't want to. It's, there's nothing I can do about that because I don't want to link a road straight across to the farms, you know? People don't really want to... What the hell does he do that for? It's a bit awkward. Hmm. Okay. Jobs and population. I want to look at the traffic charts. Nothing too bad. The numbers, not bad. Pedestrians. Can I turn off that guy's commuter thing? Yes. Okay. Bus is most active there. No subway stuff. Freight trains, ferries, monorails, nothing. Okay. I think... I guess I could put up, like, a subway system. I don't know that I want to, though. I could do... Hmm. Now that would be useful. If I had, say, a freight train up here. Like so. We could put in some, some train tracks. Might be a good idea. We'll give this a go. I don't tend to do this. So let's... Let's add ourselves a ton of, tr a ton of train tracks. Seems like a good idea.